Hello, Elite Office Suites. We will be setting up your Rico IMC 4500 printer today. The first thing you want to do is go to your email and open up the instructions that we sent you, just for the pure fact of selecting the hyperlink. Or if you'd like, you can follow along. So what you want to do to select the hyperlink is hit the control button and select the hyperlink. If you don't know how to do that, what you can do is copy and paste it into a browser of your preference. One thing that's very important to know while doing this is your operating system. You will find the information of your operating system within the information of your computer. Our operating system is the Microsoft Windows 10 64-bit. The screen that will pop up after you select the hyperlink should be the support.rico.com page. You will see the face of the printer, the name of the printer, as well as your operating system. You want to select Choose Other Operating Systems. This will bring you all the way to the bottom of the page and you will select the operating system that corresponds with your computer. Ours is Windows and my version is the 10 64-bit for Windows. I will be selecting that tab. Um, a few options will open and you want to select the Utility tab. Once you select this, the Utility tab, you will see version 2.14.2.0. You would download this. Hit the download button and let it download to your browser. After it downloads to your browser, you want to open that file. Um, the screen pops up that asks you if you want to allow changes. You cannot see this on the video due to the fact that it completely changes the screen. I am going to select yes. After that, you will get a de de device software manager web installer. This is the license agreement. You are going to accept agreement and install. It is going to prepare for the installation. Bear with it one moment while it installs. And then this page will pop up, the setup page. You want to follow the prompts um, and hit the next button. After that, it will install. Bear with it one moment while it installs. After that, um, a screen should pop up. If it does not, look in the bottom tabs and you will see a new tab pull it up it is the driver installer it is just checking for the latest version um, a new license a software license agreement will pop up you want to agree and go to next then a select the setup method will come up it will be automatically set to network if that is correct you don't have to change anything hit next selected device screen comes up a screen will pop up saying it cannot find the port. Just ignore this screen and press OK. Once you come back to this screen, you're going to click if you cannot find the device and it is going to ask you to select a search method. A pre-selected option, specify device IP address will be selected. That is the correct option. You will need to do nothing here but hit next. Once you hit the next button, it will bring you to the search by IP address. You can find the IP address within the instructions or you can pull it from here, which I will be entering. It is 10.1.10.40. Now you have to select you have to select the search button. If you do not hit the search button, it will not go forward. So you're gonna click the search button. Once you click the search button, you will see the device name, IMC4500, and the IP address, 10.1.10.40. This is the device, it is pre-selected. Just hit the next button. After that, it will install. Bear with it one moment while it installs. It will come up with a complete page and ask you to hit the finish button. We are not finished here, but we will hit the finish button. 
And the next step that you want to take, and this is very important that you enter this, we are going to be entering your user ID code that you get upon onboarding. So what we're going to do is open the printer and scanners. You can do this by looking it up in this bottom tab for Windows and it will open up your printers and scanners. You want to find the correct printer, which is Rico IM C4500 PCL6, and you want to hit manage. It will pull you up to the printer. It will pull up the printer page and you will be selecting printing preferences. It will open up your printing preferences screen and you want to select the second tab that, which says detailed settings. After that, you will see a couple of different things. You want to go to the area that says menu and hit job setup, which is the first option. Then you will see a spot to enter your user code. You want to enter this. The user code will be the code that you had to be uh, that you had um, on your onboarding process. Um, if you do not remember this code, feel free to call the receptionist and ask them. They will be able to provide it if necessary. Once you enter your user code, you want to hit apply and then OK. So this will set up the uh, so now that this is over, the printer is completely set up and you want to print the test page just in case to make sure that the printer is fully working. If you have any complications, please feel free to ask the receptionist desk. Other than that, I hope everybody has a fantastic day.